A special intelligence unit is working to keep track of and help people who have tested positive for the coronavirus in one central Florida county. But one woman who tested positive called us yesterday, worried she was not being checked on. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky went to Seminole County to get answers. Seminole County EOC Director Alan Harris says besides their call center fielding thousands of calls from residents and COVID-19 patients, so is their new intelligence unit and admits there has been some confusion over who gets day-to-day -day check ins. So we're not talking every person gets a call every 24 hours. You guys are making calls every day to COVID-19 patients, but not each patient each day gets a call once a day to check in on them. So it depends. So uh, this is where it gets complicated, unfortunately, so I'm sorry. But uh, PUI patients are different because PUI patients are tested. So we call them every day because we have to get their temperatures. But Gabriella Bivana says she did not get a call every day. She's a Seminole County resident who tested positive for COVID-19 and was recently cleared from quarantine. On your first day, did they say they would call you every day to follow up? Yes, I was specifically told I would be receiving daily check-in calls. News 6 obtained the activity log from the Emergency Operations Intelligence Unit, which was provided by Seminole County, and it shows Gabriella was contacted a total of six times during her quarantine. Three times on March 23rd, which was the day she was diagnosed, twice on April 4th, which was the day she was cleared, and once with a call on April 2nd that was logged as going to voicemail. But Gabriella says she never got that voicemail. Well, I'm not sure if they called the wrong number or something like that, but I never received anything of that. I received contact on Friday the 3rd after I had been in touch with the hotlines and after I had sent the emails and after I had been in touch with News 6, that was the only time I received a call. Harris says he will be personally contacting Bavona to see what happened. I don't know who told her what and when and where, and I need to know where that came from. Did it come from the health department? And if it came from the health department, uh, maybe we need to do some training. Adriana Ivashinsky, Getting Results, News 6. We also email the Department of Health in Seminole County today and are awaiting a response. We will check back in to see if any changes do occur as a result of Gabriella's case.